In this series, I will segment the calculator techniques by special products. Now, I will show you first the conventional way of factoring, and then I'll show you how you can obtain factors using your calculator. With some manipulation of the x values your calculator provides, you can easily factor any equation. This is useful when you are studying basic algebra and want to check your solutions quickly. Now, usually in our exams, we are not allowed to use calculators. But in your higher years and in the board exam, you will be able to use calculators for any of your tests. So it would still be better to be aware of these techniques in case you ever forget your special product formulas. Now, let's start with a basic example. Suppose you have an equation x squared minus 9. You might have encountered this problem already in your algebra. But to those who haven't yet, this equation shows the difference of two squares, which is simply dofts. Now, the difference of two squares is in the form a squared minus b squared. If we factor this equation, we get a plus b times a minus b. Now, a squared corresponds to x squared, while b squared corresponds to 9. So again, our a squared is x squared, while our b squared is 9. And so, if we take the square roots of a squared and b squared, then we get a equals square root of x squared, which is x. And then b is the square root of 9, which is 3. Next, we can plug in these values into our equation. And so, we will get x plus 3 times x minus 3. And so that would be our factors. Now, suppose you want to obtain the factors using your calculator. Let's say you have forgotten the special product rules involving the difference of two squares. And so you can go to mode and then look for EQN in your calculator which stands for equation, and after pressing 5, you will be shown this interface. Now, the first two functions are for simultaneous equations, which would be ideal when you are finding two unknowns given two or three equations, but we are not interested in that, so we will be using either 3 or 4. So 3 corresponds to a quadratic equation, while 4 corresponds to cubic equations. Now, considering our equation earlier, that would be a quadratic equation because the highest degree is x squared. So let's press 3, and then the calculator would essentially be asking you what the coefficients of x squared, x, and the constant value are. So uh, our a, for our example earlier, would be 1. Our b would be non-existent or 0. And then our c would be the constant, negative 9. Press equals, and then the calculator will provide you with your x values, in which x1 is 3, and your x2 is negative 3. Just a quick recap, going back to our function. Uh, this is the reason why our a is equal to 1, our b is equal to 0, and then our c is equal to negative 9. Using the x values provided by the calculator, which are 3 and negative 3, we can use them and set the equation to 0. So for x1 equals 3, we move 3 to the left side and then it will become x minus 3 equals 0. And then for 
x2 equals negative 3, we can move negative 3 to the left side and it will become x plus 3 equals 0. And so these would be the factors.